not present it, you will return the uh, you will get the value false ma'am some error is showing uh, error unexpected special in maintaining every syntax uh, you just um, you check because it's very important to check that syntax and also maybe everything you check first okay ma'am got it right no ma'am again problem is coming percentage in percentage no ma'am ha huh, yes uh, i'll 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 copy it and paste it in chat box okay okay ma'am others are not responding why Yeah, I pasted in chat box. You can use that. I'm using now, ma'am. Okay. Any number you can check, like in between one to twenty-four. So it's it's an array that contain one to twenty-four, right? So uh, you can check any number. Again, it's showing error, ma'am. So uh, maybe uh, this. Uh, you created arrays in different or same thing you created ah uh? i don't know oh, some other uh, uh, that also i'll paste pasting here okay uh one minute I'll, i'll paste in chat box then you can and i have taken another r script that's why yeah r script no that is not oh you just run it first i have um... if you if you are taking another r script then again you have to run it you just run it and again uh, yeah you can check which one i have to run yeah i pasted in chat box you can take that yeah now i got it ma'am ah okay okay Ah, ma'am, true or false? Ah, if uh, the value is present in particular uh, array, you'll get you'll return the value true, and if it is not present, you'll get the false result. So that is uh, that, I uh, that also you you are not getting. Wait, ma'am, I will maybe just check that spelling error, uh, spelling mistakes are there in object name. copy do fast because others others are waiting yeah i pasted in uh, this one i mean a chat box that also you ca you can copy okay ma'am continue ma'am i will check it later yes ma'am i also get the same result false false okay if you uh, which number you type I have type twenty five, twenty six. Ah, twenty five means more than ah will... uh, more than twenty four numbers. I have type. Ah, you will get false. Yeah. Definitely, you will yeah. get false. If yeah. you are like if you type in between like one to twenty four, that you will get true number.
okay then uh, array is over uh, then we are moving to factors okay first one so that also i'm saving uh, array okay then um moving to factors okay next one so that is fifth one so factors means it's a data objects which are used to categorize the data okay and store it as levels so mainly they are useful for storing the categorical data and they can be a uh, store i mean they can store both string and integers and they are useful to categorize unique values in columns like true for true or false or male or female etc so main they are useful in data analysis or statistical modeling and this one you can use like uh, uh, i mean uh, to create uh, any factor you can use a factor function and argument to the factor will be the vector so that we can use uh, okay create factor factor so we can uh, create a factor using factor function that is fac then factor of okay and c of so that is the parameters will be a vector so c of male comma Email, comma, then again mail. Yeah. Mail. Sorry. Email. Okay. So they already said this factor will uh, is using for categorizing the data. So that is uh, true or false or male or female. So if you are printing the uh, factor, like run it, then for printing we had to type the object name. Fact. Then you'll get female male. This is like. They, it categorize the data as female and male okay then if you want to uh, get uh, I, I mean levels of the data levels means uh, same thing uh, get uh, to uh, using uh, get uh, uh, it using categorizing the data that is you can use level function that is uh, no sorry level of that data i mean object name so you will get the same result here then again uh, similarly uh, if you want to access the data again you can use same like uh, like square bracket that is of which data uh, if uh, like okay we want to access first data you can access one so control and we'll get why is this coming like this Error in level factor. Why? Oh. Ma'am, error in level. No, no, levels. S, S is there. Sorry. Levels. Okay. Uh, yeah. Same result you will get here. So then you can access this one using 
like fact, uh, I mean uh, indexing the uh, number like uh, using square bracket. Find the three, then five. Yeah, like this. Okay, then this data structure is over. Uh, over now. Then we are moving to our function, okay? Save it. Save it as factor. Ma'am, levels, uh, what does it mean, ma'am? Levels. So you will get the level of data. How many type of, data? I mean, it also using, using for categorizing the data. Same thing, like if you, if you are typing fact, Instead of typing fact, you can write levels of fact. I mean, object name, that factor. Female, female. Ha, ha, female. Ha. Yeah. Factor yeah. of three means third position. Ha, third position you will get. Same thing, same, similar to that vector list and all uh, we are doing, right? So, same thing you will get. Then, uh, that data structure is over now. We are moving to uh, next next level. That is um, our function. Okay. So this data structure is over. First one is vector. We completed data frame. Then list. We completed matrix. Then array. Then factor. So five uh, data structures we completed now. Then we are moving to our function. Okay. I mean that. Uh... Percentage in percentage that is not getting, ma'am. Some unexpected uh, special. I don't know. Uh, I don't it's know. Showing a uh, red line. Red line. Yeah. I don't close. know. After. No, you just. Uh, I mean, uh, after workshop, you just try one more, one more time, okay. and if you're not getting, you just uh, send me in. I mean, a group. Okay. okay then uh, we are moving to our function. Okay, ma'am. Okay. R functions okay our functions uh, a function means it's a block of code which only runs when it is called okay so uh, if it is not called it won't work so only it will work um, if you're calling uh, then you can pass the data known as parameters into a function and functions are also useful when you want to perform a certain task that is multiple times and there are two types of function in our language that is one built-in function and second one is use and define function okay built-in function means uh, it's already there are uh, certain function those already built in i mean uh, available in r okay and user defined function means we can uh, write our own function in r so first we are uh, I'm checking what are the built-in uh, built functions in R. So there are a lot of helpful built-in functions are uh, functions are available in R uh, that uh, we can use for various purposes. So here I'm writing some of the most popular one. Okay. So that is minimum function. This is the minimum function. Okay. Then uh, maximum function okay so i'll i'll uh, discuss it with later with example okay here i'm writing what is the important functions here first mean function then median function okay. this function you already know right in mathematics so it will return the minimum, maximum, mean, median value of a numerical vector. Okay. These functions. So next is like sum function. This is the inbuilt function. Okay. Inbuilt function that are available in R. So sum function. Sum function means it returns the sum of a numerical vector. Okay. 
then next is like range function range function so it will returns the minimum and maximum values of a numeric uh, numeric vector okay then next a b uh, okay a b s function a b f function okay so it will um, returns the absolute value of a number okay then str function str function so str function it will shows the structure of an r object okay then print function in function, I think everyone knows it will display an R object on the console. Okay. Then n column that we uh, like we study now, right? So n column means it returns the number of columns of a matrix or a data frame. And uh, length, ne, sorry. Next, length function that also we learn now. Length function. So that returns the number of items in an R object. Uh, that will be like a vector or list, etc. So then next function is n char n char n char. Okay, n char function. So it will returns the number of characters in a character object. Then next important function is sort function. Okay. So sort function also we learn now, right? So sort a it sorts a number. Uh, I mean sorts a vector in ascending or descending order. Okay. Then exist function. Exist. Okay. So returns it returns the uh, true or uh, false depending on whether or not a whether or a variable is present in our environment okay so we can see the above function in action right so first we are creating a vector here vector okay then c of a simple like vector a numerical vector so three five six comma eight comma nine comma uh, anything okay vector and we are comma okay comma nine okay print minimum of that particular vector name vector okay first we had to run the vector okay we are running the vector then we are finding the minimum of that vector yeah why vector What happened here? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now we got minimum of that vector. What is the minimum value here? Three, right? So here we are getting the minimum value of that vector. Then we are finding the mean value of that vector. So that is print mean value of that vector. Okay. Yeah, we are getting the mean value of that vector. That is 6.2. Then we are typing, we are finding the medium value of vector. Print median of that vector. Okay. 
this is medium what is the medium value of vector it is 6 then uh, we if we want to find the sum of the vector that we can use some function here print sum of that vector vector okay we'll get 31 here okay 31 of that vector i mean uh, sum of the vector is 31 then if you want to uh, get the range of that vector that also you can use here print range of vector okay yeah three nine then if you want to see the uh, length of vector that print length of vector yeah length is five then if you want to sort uh, the vector that also you can already we learned last session right so here also we can type print sort the but sort uh, the vector name the name so here you can mention like uh, if you want to uh sort decreasing order that also you can mention he here so that is decreasing order decreasing is equal to true okay yeah no why then sort of vector then decreasing correct right Why? What I have got the Ma'am, spelling of decreasing. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is getting raw. Uh, right, uh, I mean 98653. Yeah. Then you can uh, you can use exist function also here. Print. Okay. Exist. System function, then you can use vector. If the vector is existing or not, you can check that. Okay, so vector that yeah, it is existing. No, uh, already created, right? So you are getting, you are returning the value true. Okay. So this is like uh, like uh, we have discussed about inbuilt functions that are available in R. Okay. So next we are going to create a like user defined functions. So how to create a function with the uh, mm, name like uh, that we are uh, okay. This is going to see that is that is inbuilt function. So this is user defined. function okay function so uh, for creating a function we can use function function of uh, function that uh, okay I'll, I'll get confusion this one okay so uh, the general structure of the uh, function file is like sorry create function uh, 
function assigning a value then function then we are printing the value here hello world can you say it will work or not can anybody say it will work or not can anybody say hello Yes, ma'am. Wait, ma'am. Ma ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm writing, ma'am. Why it is not working? Why, why you are not getting result? The code is correct only. Here it is running, but you are not getting result, right? So we had to call the function name. Then only it will work. Okay. What is the function name here? Okay. Instead of okay, if you are getting confusion, instead of create function, we can give any name. Okay. A B C. Then run it. Okay, then you had to call the function here. That is A, B, C, then function. Yeah. Understood, right? Why it was not working? So if you are if you are defining a function, after defining a function, uh, then you had to call the function. Then only it will work. Okay. Then uh, you can give arguments or uh, in uh, I I mean okay. What is first? I'll say what is argument. Okay. Arguments means its information can be passed into functions as arguments. That is. Um, Arguments are specified after the function function name. That is here you can mention arguments. Okay, inside the parentheses, parentheses, uh, then you can add as as many arguments as you want. Okay, uh, then uh, if you want to add two or three, you you have to separate with them. Uh, I mean them with the comma. Okay, then arguments arguments is a value that is sent to the function when it is called so arguments we can add here and parents i mean pa uh, parameters we have given we can give here okay for example a b c here function then we are giving a parameter i mean argument uh, sorry parameters here that is name okay then sorry then we are print name okay Then uh, while calling a, I mean your function, we are giving a, an argument that is a b c of 
okay uh, whatever name you want to print uh, that you can give so here i'm giving hunji okay so any number of arguments you can give okay a b c of um mm, okay acha okay so a b c of g Okay. Then you had to run it here. So it will show the name here with G, Asha, Jean, etc. So this is the parameter and this is the argument. So here we are passing the argument to this parameter. Okay. Okay, then we if, if we want to add two more uh, uh, or I mean uh, one or more uh, parameter that also we can add here that is uh, you can add a here. So if you are adding uh, two parameters here, so here also you had to mention the two. Then here we can give any four, six. So we are calling it will print. Yeah. No why it is not printing. Oh sorry. Add to add here. Print a we didn't add right so then it will print yeah it is printing now right so uh, you can add uh, any number of parameters here but if you are uh, mentioning parameter you had to print uh, i mean here also you had to mention and here also you had to mention so by default also you can add a parameter name so if you are adding default uh, parameter uh, uh, i mean default value in uh, for a parameter you had to mention here okay if you want to add a default number 9 you can mention here that is uh, 9 so that is a is equal to 9 then add it will show mm -hmm. oh then also it okay yeah it's showing nine here if you are not adding uh, i mean if you are not giving uh, argument also it will show default value here nine okay yeah everywhere it's showing default value okay so uh, function also over now today so that also i am saving now okay function then next we are moving to built-in data sets that is already available data sets in R. So, ma'am, uh, A equal to 9. That is default. Ah, uh, okay. What is that, ma'am? That is default value. Okay. No, if you are not giving anything, anything? It will return 9. Ah, uh, 9, yeah. 
Otherwise, if you are not giving any value here, you have to give value here, okay? While giving argument. While passing argument, mm -hmm. you have to pass the value here. So, otherwise, you have to give the, uh, you can give the default value here. It, it will automatically take the value. Okay, ma'am. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. Then we are moving to next session. Uh, that is built-in data sets in R. Okay. Mm. Built-in data sets in R. Okay. So, uh, mainly in R, there are uh, several data set. Okay. Data, uh, data sets are available. So, which can, uh, we can uh, use and everyone can use for training purpose. And uh, uh, after that, you can, um, I mean, mainly for uh, demo session and training purposes, you can use this built-in, I mean, built-in data sets. Okay. So, I'll show how you can take that built-in data set. So, first you can type library then data set okay then yeah okay here i've how to take that ma'am once we pick one small one here library then function library function okay, okay ma'am then see. run it so here you will get all the details of all the details of this uh, I mean data set. Library data set. Okay. Then uh, help data set. Help data set. Data set means if you want to get a uh, particular details about, a per, I mean, details about particular uh, data set, you can type that name, okay? Otherwise, you can check data sets, then run it. Then here you can stay, here in a uh, help page, you can see the details about your data set, okay? Description. Uh, then details this package contains a variety of if you want to get a, uh, I mean if if you already knows a data set name you can you can add here okay so otherwise this is like that this package contain a variety of data set for a complete list use library and help data set okay this is the details of that particular data set and if you want to get the normal data set data function how to run it so here are the built-in inbuilt data sets that are already available in R so there are lot of data sets are available here many data sets any one any data set you can use it for training purposes okay there are a lot of data sets are available. The example add passengers as passengers means it's a data set containing monthly airline passenger details. So that is numbers between uh, 1949 to uh, like 1960. Okay, so anything DNS, Indo, Insect Sprays. So these are the data set. So I'll show the data set. Volcanosis, woman. Here, one data sets are available, right? I mean, woman. It's, woman means it's a data set containing average heights and weights for American women. Okay. So, if you want to know the details of this data set, you have to copy this and then run it. Okay, so you will get the details of this is the woman data details of woman data set. Okay, if you want to know the air passengers details, that is I can take it and run it. 
okay add passengers this is the add passengers data set so like that any data set you can cope uh, you can take it and you can use for training purposes okay scientific data sets are available uh, then iris so this data set we are going to use uh, today we are today or tomorrow i think tomorrow we are using this data set okay iris data set for training purposes so Uh, Ma'am, can you repeat this? Uh, the woman, how to get the data? Okay, just type it that woman name, or you can copy from here. Okay, woman. Okay, copy. Then paste it. Then run it. getting right now are you getting or not yes ma'am yes, ma ha 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 so any name you just type here and run it then you will get the data set here so using that you can you can uh, like for the training purposes you can uh, use and also some mainly we are using for training purposes this is our inbuilt data set right so okay iris data set i'll show iris iris then control and uh, yeah you okay we can see this data set okay so it contain uh sepal length sepal uh, width petal length uh, then petal width and uh, species species so if you want to know details you can use help function okay help then iris then it will show the details of that uh, particular data set okay this is in like this is uh, i mean uh, built in data sets is over now so that also i'm saving here built in data sets will now if you type help only will get the details of the data set iris ha uh, help then inside uh, inside the bracket uh inside the quotes you had to write the uh, i mean data set name then you'll get yes. it ha then uh, we are moving to next section so uh, already knows right uh, today's session uh, like uh, we um finished data structures then creating functions in r we will get the details in another panel no ma'am uh in console panel you'll get it no not the uh, console panel in help panel ah uh, okay okay ma'am description ha, ha, ha. like that ah ah the same thing yeah so data stru uh, structures are over now and creating functions in mm -hmm. r over now then built in data sets over now so next one is like uh, counting content of rna uh, sorry dna using loop uh, concept then next one is uh, counting itgc in three method so we are moving to that one uh, so before that uh, you already knows right what is dna everyone knows right dna what is dna yes ma'am ha 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 so uh, everyone knows right only yes ma'am ha ha yes, ha ma okay ha ha mainly uh, the uh, to analyze this dna is very important to understand the properties and functions of dna and its components okay uh, so everyone knows its uh, dna carries genetic information of living organism and it 
uh, it can play i mean it can plays a crucial role in the replication and transmission of genetic material from one generation to the next and uh, the sequence of dna uh, nucleotides that is nucleotides determines the structure and uh, functions of uh, proteins and other molecules that are essential for life processes so what are the nucleotides available in uh, i mean uh, present in dna what are the nucleotide sequences renin guanine cytosine thymine ah uh, yes atgc yeah so here first one we are uh, using i mean we are counting the content of dna using loop concept okay so i think uh, uh, you know loop in r loop concept in r because uh, in basics i didn't teach you uh, i mean everyone knows knows or no i don't know you know it or not known no man i don't no oh. man okay so i'm not saying in detail here okay i cannot teach detail so i just uh, I, i'm just showing a structure of loop here and after that i'm going to that program okay so there are three types of loops are available in r programming okay so one is for loop then second one is while loop and third one is repeat loop okay for loop means uh in our programming uh, uh, the for loop is construct allows you to repeat a block of code uh like that is um code and uh, uh code a fixed uh, number of time or it will iterate over a sequence of values so the basic syntax of for loop in r is uh here i am writing for because if i'm going to um, teach uh, deep i mean um, in detail it will take time so i'm just just saying a structure of that uh, for loop okay introduction type for loop for then variable in sequence sequence sound or again then here code to be executed we are writing the code that is code to be executed okay this is the general format of for loop okay so okay we can see an example also that is uh, for i i sorry i i means variable okay in a sequence okay 1 2 1 colon 5 5 okay sequence number this is the sequence of 1 to 5 this is the number okay so sequence okay, i means it's a variable then in sequence then print we had to print the value of i yeah it's printing now okay 1 2 3 4 5 main thing in programming if you want to print uh, 1 to 5 we had to type all the things like print 1 print 2 print 3 print 4 print 5 right so instead of that we can use for loop to print all the sequence items like uh, sequence of number sequence of string etc okay so here this for loops we are applying in uh, counting uh, content of dna uh, so that is this program you understood right before going that this program you understood right 
mainly this loop iterates over the sequence of values that is 1 to 5 and this variable i i takes on the values of each element in the sequence and in turn and the code inside the loop okay main thing in this case this print i is executed for each value of i okay so directly i'm going to that program okay i already saved it in uh, Okay, open file. Okay, looper. Yes, no, no, no. Where? Okay. So, this is the program that uh, because in this we are using the loop concept, it is for loop concept for counting the uh, like. Uh, I mean um, DNA okay content of DNA okay here uh, we are de defining the DNA sequence okay so uh, already knows the sequence like AGT I mean AGTC is a DNA sequence right so if we, are count, we are counting the content of this sequence okay using for loop first we are defining the sequence so uh, and uh, sequence to a variable name like dna okay then we are uh, like uh, initializing this count a we are uh, the variable count a uh, initialized to zero so mainly uh, this variable name suggests that uh, count day uh, like if we are in uh, like initializing zero means the uh, it it uh, like uh, it is intended to count the number of occurrences of the nucleotide a in the sequence okay so count c means it uh, count is here in uh, we are initialized to zero so it means this variable name suggests uh, like uh, suggest that like it is intended to count the number of occurrence of the nucleotide C in the same sequence so like that like that count G also like the uh, count G also it then uh, it it is mainly intended to the count of number of occurrence of the nucleotide G in some not some like the sequence okay like that so here after that I mean here we are assigning the DNA sequences here initializing the counters for each nucleotide okay then here we are applying the loop concept uh, for each nucleotide in the sequence so here using Uh, I think you can write the program now or I'll send the program I mean code uh, after workshop that will be better if you're writing it will it will be taking time so so how many are there no so I'll send the program uh, after the workshop okay so just Thank you, ha, ha, ha. so this you understood right we are assigning the value here then we are initializing the nucleotide like initialize the counters for uh, each nucleotide then we are applying the loop here okay then within the loop we are using uh, this function okay sub str okay here uh, same thing whatever the uh, we discussed in loop same thing we are applying here also then get the current nucleotide using like here we are using sub str function so mainly we are using sub str function to get the current nucleotide character at index i okay index i and 
we we are storing it in a variable called nucleotide okay then we are uh, oh if else also uh, uh, do you know if else function L, uh, sorry else if function that also i think it's in a uh, basic so um, okay after uh, completing this workshop just check what is uh, just check what is for loop and what uh, what is if else uh, i mean else uh, else if, if else function so then only you will get to know this uh, like uh, 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 like program okay so after that we are using if else function here that is uh, depending on the value that is here already we assign the uh, um, thing to nucleotide uh, object right so here we are incrementing the uh, corresponding counter variable for that nucleotide that is uh, count a plus 1 uh, like that so variable for the nucleotide and count a count c count g or count that is count a count c count g and count d count t plus 1 okay we are incrementing it with uh, 1 then we are printing the uh, uh, this count a like already initialized the value here right so we are printing the uh, i mean after getting this result we are printing the count a value using cat function okay cat function is using for printing the value so this is the new line character so we are printing the uh, this count a details using cat function okay so this is the program so without knowing if else and uh, loop uh, you will i don't know you will be uh, for you it will be difficult to understand this program but uh, we already uh, like uh, added in our uh, like uh, today's session so i just want to discuss it with you so after this workshop just check if else function and uh, follow function then you will uh, read uh, after get i mean because after knowing that you can read this uh, code and i'll execute uh, and work it otherwise i don't know you'll get it or understand <laughs> i don't know okay uh, anyway it will be difficult for you i know i know uh, it's annoying yeah uh, hello ah hello uh, excuse me ma'am huh uh, ma'am, is there any suggested reading for this or that book that we can refer over on in something like uh, uh, a good YouTube okay, channel? I, 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 yeah, I have I have some book with me. Okay, I'll I'll share it with uh, you in a group. Okay, so many books are two three books are there. So I'll share it. You find very useful and that is more easy. Ah, to I'll I'll share it. I'll share you. Uh, any. Your favorite YouTube channel that is teaching these things, or no, mm, I already refer uh, like uh, this uh, GitHub, GitHub program. Then I referred some not channels, channels I didn't refer. I just uh, re read using um, like some databases are there, so that I'll share you with. Uh, you guys like in group okay okay ma'am thank you ha, ha, ha. okay loop program is done next we already added like uh, counting ATGC in three methods so uh, we can use other function also for counting uh, this uh, ATGC okay so uh, there are a lot of inbuilt functions are available for counting data so that is uh, okay one minute file that also i already save it in file because uh, typing is uh, uh, very difficult because it will take time so 
I okay open file. Mm. 